In this movie, I'll show you how I created the document that you see before you on screen. That'll give you a rough sense for what you can do in Illustrator, and will also give us a chance to save our changes in the very next movie. The name of the file is 8pagenewsletter.ai, and it's found inside the L1 Make Doc folder. And you can see that I've labeled each one of my artboards with these big numbers. And each one of the numbers is exactly centered on the page. I'm excited to show you how I did that because it's a really cool technique. So I'm going to start things off by going up to the Select menu and choosing the All command, or you can press Control-A or Command-A on the Mac. And that's going to select all eight of those numbers. And then I'll press the Shift key and click on the one in order to deselect it. And you can see that it's no longer selected because its baseline has disappeared. The baseline is the imaginary line upon which all text sits. So in other words, we have everything but the one selected. Now I'm going to press the backspace key or the delete key on the Mac in order to get rid of everything. And I'm going to take this one and just kind of move them to an arbitrary location. So let's start things off by centering the one. And you do that by going up to the control panel at the top of the screen, go over here to the right hand side and you'll see the word align, go ahead and click on it. And then we'll go ahead and change this line to option from align to selection to align to artboard. And now I'll click on each one of these middle align icons, both horizontal align center and then vertical align center. And then I'll go ahead and hide the align panel. And that looks a little high to me, so I'm going to press shift down arrow, let's say two times, in order to nudge the number downward. Now I'll go up to the edit menu and I'll choose the cut command, or press control X or command X on the Mac, to go ahead and move that one to the clipboard. And now I'll go up to the edit menu and choose one of the coolest commands inside the software, paste on all artboards, which has that gigantic keyboard shortcut, control shift and alt, or command shift and option, along with V. And that'll go ahead and paste that number onto every single page. And now all I have to do is switch to the type tool, which I can get by pressing the T key. And I should say here, you may notice that on your toolbox, the T is farther down. That's because you're working with the single column toolbox and you can switch between them by clicking on this little double arrow icon. I have to work with the double column toolbox because my screen's not tall enough to accommodate all of the tools otherwise. Now I'm going to switch to the type tool and then it's just a matter of selecting each one of these numbers and changing it to a different number. So we're selecting all the ones and changing them of course to two through eight. And now I'll just switch back to my default tool, which Illustrator calls the selection tool. I just call it the black arrow tool because after all, it is a black arrow. And that is how you construct a quick and dirty document here in Illustrator. In the next movie, I'll show you how to save your changes.